How's it going guys? It's Manny King here and welcome to episode 5 of Your Voice My Choice. We're playing Kill Confirmed on the map Raid and I'm using a class that I thought I would never use or really I'm using a gun with an attachment that I thought I would never use. So when I was going for the Nuclear with Every Gun Show LMG episodes, I swore that I wasn't going to use a target finder, I wasn't going to use a dual band. So pretty much up to this point in Black Ops 2, I have never used a dual band or a target finder on a light machine gun willingly. I mean, I've probably picked up a gun where it had a target finder on it and I just had to use it for ammo uh, purposes, but I don't think I've ever like willingly put it on a gun and say, okay, let me see how well I can do with it. But this dual band is actually really good. I don't know if it reduces sway or I don't know. I always felt like there was less recoil with it on. So you might be wondering what I have on this class exactly. So on the gun itself, I have a silencer, a dual band, and I think it's quick draw also. And my perks are lightweight, toughness, and dexterity, and my lethals, and I guess the non-lethal would be the flash grenade, and a C4. So it's going to be a pretty interesting gameplay. I don't know how you guys will react to it, seeing me using this dual band, especially because a lot of people complained about it when I was playing against them. Uh, I heard a lot of people rage with it. Um, it's very easy to stay on target, even if you're just uh, shooting a person across the map. Uh, it was very easy to also just shoot around the corners and just hold down R1. I mean, it's basically exactly... Uh, how I felt when I was recording for the light machine gun nuclears. I felt like it was very easy just due to the fact that if I got into a, some trouble I would just hold R1 around a corner and hopefully that they would come around the corner and end up getting killed by it. But this class, it was interesting. It was interesting. Um, I had no idea the dual band was this powerful. I mean, right there I just got one shot headshot. That That's crazy. I didn't know LMG's got that. Maybe he was damaged already. But a lot of people um, in ground war domination recently have been throwing a lot of smoke grenades so the fact that I had this dual band they would get so mad at how many times I'd get probably triples quads uh, through the smoke because I thought they were safe and uh, it's, it's just hilarious in my opinion when they just rage so badly at an attachment but I can feel with them I remember uh, so many times where I'd get mad at target finders now it's just like uh, no reason to get mad at it anymore I've been mad at target finder since the beginning of black ops 2 is there really a point now to be mad at the damn attachment anymore so whenever i get killed by a light machine gun target finder i'm just like you know what just try to find a different way in the map to go and right there look at that feed but i'm already gonna run out of ammo and i wanted to keep this nuclear streak alive i was like all right how am i gonna do this so i kept trying to be a ninja i'm glad that i had dexterity in this class if i had attack mask I probably wouldn't have been able to jump through that window fast enough. So I knifed this guy. I'm like, okay, give me your gun. And this is basically the gun that I'm going to use to go on this nuclear streak. I'm already at a 25 kill streak. So I only need five more or six more, I don't know, uh, with this gun. I'm pretty sure it, it was a 25 kill streak when I got my that kill right there. So I still need six more technically uh, with this gun. And there it is. So the M881, very strong gun, but I'm not even here to talk about it, even though it is going to be in an episode of Your Voice, My Choice pretty soon. Uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting gameplay. Next week's is going to be pretty awesome. I'm, I'm going to say the scoreline for next week's episode is going to be pretty good. Uh, this week's scoreline, it could have been better. I, I was deciding between a 62 and 11 or this gameplay. I don't want to finish the... Uh, I don't want to spoil the ending of the score on this one already, but I was really confused of what you guys would like to see. A 62-11 or me going nuclear and getting pretty close to that score. Um, sometimes I'm really confused between two games that I might have. Sometimes it ends up that way. Like uh, I think it was last week's episode with the Riot Shield Remington. I believe that was last week's episode where I got that gameplay, but then I got another gameplay that was really similar and I had a better streak, but it was less kills. Um, I like, I get confused sometimes of what kind of games you might want to see. So, uh, in the comment section, if you can, what would you rather see? Like, if I go in a gameplay, let's say I go on a nuclear streak, but then on another gameplay, I go for like 60, 70 kills, and the nuclear streak only got 40, 50. Would you rather see that, or would you rather see the 60, 70 kills that I might have gotten on the other gameplay? Um, it would help me in the future just because sometimes I have run into uh, 
specific episodes where I'm just like, I don't know what to upload, uh, which gameplay to upload, because I consider the nuclear nuclear streak the best video that I would possibly get. But uh, maybe other people feel differently. Maybe they want to see me get the highest kill streak or highest kills possible with their class. I'm not entirely too sure. Um, and that's a problem I ran into with this uh, certain class. So I went 62 and 11, and I thought that was pretty good. It was okay. I uh, died a lot, but then I also got this one, which was a nuclear gameplay, which I thought was a lot better. And also I went on some uh, streaks uh, even after the nuclear. I was hoping that maybe I can maybe squeeze in a double nuclear, but right there I end up getting killed. And when I looked at the score anyways, there were there wasn't enough time for me to even try going for a double nuclear. Which I might try for in the future. I haven't really tried for a double nuclear yet, but I'm thinking that I might give that a try. And those headshots are just killing so fast. But this dual ban, I really felt like it was unfair at how easy it was to get snap onto target. So there you go. There it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode, and I'll see you guys later. And yeah, peace.